Um, so I started learning Korean from Kanadara from after coming to Korea. So initially the first three months I think I wasn't used to the Pali Pali culture. As a foreigner, uh, they are not used to you. So if you reach out to them and ask them to just get a coffee, Hello, I'm Gaurav Sa. I'm currently working in Samsung STS at Chamshil in Seoul. I am from India and I am currently working as an AI product owner. So the role of product owner is mostly revolves around product planning and also how to use that kind of AI products in the real world use cases. Um, so when I was in my undergrad in India, in the first year of my bachelor's, a friend of mine who was studying with me told me that there are even bachelor programs similar to how it's in India in South Korea and they have like sp uh, sponsored government programs where you can also do the degree and also learn the language that's Korean it's something called the Global Korean Scholarship sponsored by NIED and so this program helped you learn Korean for a year and after that you could pursue your graduate degree so for my university I applied for UNIST that's Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology in Ulsan uh, one of the reasons why I chose that specific university is that it conducted its courses in, in English so that motivated me since I wasn't sure if how well I would do uh, in Korean with uh, the master's degree we're trying to do cutting-edge AI research and also one of the newest universities which wanted to be in top 10 universities by 2030 I, I decided to apply for this university um, so I started learning Korean from Kanadara from after coming to Korea I think the first six months of life in Korea was kind of uh, difficult for me to adjust to because a new place a new language and foods which I wasn't used to thankfully I had good like roommates classmates and other faculties who helped me adjust to it so um, a year before that I started looking for job opportunities and this role I came in through a LinkedIn uh, offer from an HR of the company so one of the big reasons why I applied to the current company uh, happens to be that while the HR of this company uh, specifically came to my campus to explain me this job role we I had a coffee chat with them and they helped me out with the deadlines firstly is the main technical round and then there is the behavioral round held by the executives so since I was having a lot of anxiety and tension because you know, one of the kind of you getting a job after such period of time what helped me is she got me a specific room to calm down and held my nerves cool down so I felt like if I could be in this kind of environment I could grow as a person so I think that one of the reasons I and at the end chose this company so different from how it is in the university um, because uh, where you have flexible timelines and deadlines um, our company works with fixed deadlines and fixed timelines so initially the first three months I think I wasn't used to the Pali Pali culture and also one of the hurdles I faced was specifically of how I could get more uh, converse with my colleagues in specifically in Korean even the documents which you normally write in the company are mostly used in Korean specifically to the executives so uh, my colleagues were very helpful to me and they allowed me to use like translators and web uh, based APIs to convert my documents so getting to know each other in person via coffee chats or maybe having uh, office dinners also helped me to see them in a different way and also for them to see me in a different way so my colleagues helped me a lot with the process um, and with time I got used to the Pali Pali culture and uh, finishing things on time um, so when I initially chose the role I wasn't exactly knew what the an AI product manager works as but over the few time I have spent in the company I have learned to that it's an evolving role so I control a simple product and I have this ownership which you normally don't get in other companies 
So I think I value this ownership a lot because it allows me to make individualistic decisions and these decisions are not questioned but honored by the company. So being able to work with my lab mates on cutting edge research and trying to compete against other researchers across the world was really a motivating experience. Even though I did not do the similar research as I did back then, but the experience from back then has helped me to grow as an individual since I am now working on business use cases using generative AI, so which is uh, an application-based approach. Now this, uh, the knowledge I learned during my master degree, I can now put it into use. So it helps me to target better opportunities in the future. Um, so the currently generative AI has been one of the trending words of this year. So generative AI is mainly refers to a creative form of AI where you use uh, one form of input to generate another form of output. Text to images, text to a video, text plus image to video. So being able to stay in contact with the leading generative AI tools and also uh, seeing the business world impacts is I think the two advantages of this sector. Uh, being able to use generative AI tools. I also had this experience when I was in my graduate school, but the experience of how business revolves around AI is a new landscape for me. And I think this is for something which uh, normally I used to dream of, but being able to do it now is free, makes me feel happy. Um, so currently I'm trying to build up my skill set, um, specifically on the business side. So I'm still trying to learn up the skills from my seniors and after I build my skills uh, in this field, uh, I plan after some of years, I plan to pursue a master's in, uh, in business administration, that's an MBA. I feel like this will help me level up um, and I will tr try to grow as a business future business executive. Um, one of the best ways or advices I would say to get a job in Korea as a researcher or in a research related company so I would firstly, you try to find out people who are working in similar sectors or uh, research and you try to find out collaborators who you can collaborate with. Sending them emails works the most, but also looking up job hunting sites like LinkedIn or uh, Job Korea, Saramin, these sites can be helpful. Now even going out to job hunting fairs, there are many companies which do targeted uh, foreign uh, hiring. So going to them and sharing your contact and research work can help you get a job. Finally, uh, if you're working in, if you're in an already grad school, then you can try out the careers page of your university. There can be a lot of information on that. Uh, just not your university. You can also try out to reach other universities which do have foreign students because they will be also posting links related to foreign hiring. So that can be a really useful tip for foreigners who are trying to get a job in Korea. And a cool tip which they said is that if you uh, date someone who is Korean, would help you to learn Korean better and faster because it's a more personal level than uh, just learning. <laughs>